Greetings. I'm not the first person to say this, but I will be perhaps one of the first persons to try and draw the connections between the dots. This guy, David Kaplan, is talking about um, uh, Tom Perkins' biggest sailboat in the world, or biggest whatever, <clears throat> big, big, around uh, 41, 41 minutes, 50 seconds, he describes essentially how the sails work, where it clicked for me, um, and again, I'm not the first to say it, but then it occurred to me, if <clears throat> we can build devices that allow you to furl and unfurl um, large canvases, like sails, what's to prevent us from designing windmills, large windmills, that essentially do the same thing. Now I've seen demonstrations of windmills on YouTube. Uh, one designer particularly out of, I believe it was Czech Republic who had built this using old car parts. Uh, but the principle is the same. When it's high wind, the wind, uh, the sail is furled in. And when it's low wind, the sail is furled out so as to maximize torque. Um, and load on the sails so that you achieve optim optimal optimal load and optimal uh, power generation. I'm a little surprised that uh, we're still seeing windmills um, based on that kind of very simple physics where we're not seeing more windmills um, that follow that principle as opposed to these which are very uh, intensive uh, design and installation. Of course, furling and unfurling sails is not um, is not easy either. And the uh, the boat that Kaplan's talking about here, the Maltese Falcon, is a hundred and fifty million dollar boat. Um, but if we can scale the idea from this from these basic ones to one of the first boats that he shows, and I believe it's in here somewhere. He has he has a very small working model of one of those boats um, in Italy with a square sail with a furling, uh, with a automatic furling of the sail. Uh, this is full, full furl, this is unfurling. I think there's a, right there. Why not, or how about designing small windmills that function on the same principle of this furling sail where the sail furls out from the center mast along the yard arms and using that as the windmill. Thanks for watching and uh, all responses appreciated.